guys welcome to another vlog today we have our headlights modified so let me turn those on as you could see i did a projector led retrofit on this car and i bought some spare headlights um, they're not oem they're depot but i was able to open them up without any worries and i was able to put a bi led projector that i got from amazon and then i made a custom harness and everything and and got it working so we're gonna do a quick drive right now to see the output of these headlights and if you want to see how the OEM halogen headlight output was then you could refer to my previous video uh, which I'll put a link in this video under the description but immediately um, I don't know if you guys could tell on the camera but the cutoff line is unreal this this is my fourth retrofit I did do plenty of retrofits in the past um, on my 2011 Civic when I had that in high school but this one in particular is it's much better than the previous technologies especially um, the HIDs so with the LED the chipset is integrated into the projector and you have the little purple hue as you guys could see on the road now the cool part about the bi LED projector is that the LED chipset projects the light into the projector and then there's a solenoid that that flicks the cutoff um, bracket up and down and that'll allow it to go from low beam to high beam. So right now uh, we're on the low beam setting and then I'm going to flick the high beam a little bit. Here's the high beam. And once we're on uh, a little bit more of a ground level area, I'll show you how the high beam looks like. But really happy with them. Uh, highly recommend. To, to do these if you if you have a Honda Fit especially you don't want to put an HID bulb or an LED bulb in the factory projector because that causes um, oncoming traffic to be blinded and it's pretty pretty dangerous for other drivers on the road so this this is a very safe way to mod it and mod the lights and have a nice output and do it the proper way so here I'm gonna make a turn let me go straight a little bit we did get some snow today and some pretty pretty bad ice as well so the roads are pretty slippery but again it could be another test of the snow tires I have on today um, just going around here a little bit and let's flick the high beams so this isn't a really good location to see the difference but pretty big difference you can see far away on the road all those signs just lit up from the high beam as opposed to if we have the low beam on we can't really see them and it comes cl in clutch uh, in, in mountain regions as well especially in areas where you don't have lights right now the snow on the ground is helping the light reflect a little bit more but if you're in a super dark area and you're not on a wide road you can see the difference a lot in that perspective but pretty happy with them the the V pattern is relatively broad um, as you can see from the left to the right you see the trees and then a little bit of the grass area grass area on the right that's covered with snow Let's see how the lighting conditions are you can see some street lights coming up in one of these parking lots here and let's see if we can pull up somewhere to see the cutoff line I just pull up straight over here you guys can see the cutoff line on this snow you can see the purple shoe and the color temperature is about 6,000 Kelvin so it's like a cool white temperature I think it's perfect try to go around a little bit more to get a get an idea how this looks other parts of the road. Just test out the high beams again. beams there's a the high beams keep on going to show you guys the difference we'll drive with the high beams on a little bit as well Let's go 
back to where we was though. But I'll put all the parts I used in the description so that if any of you have a Honda Fit and you're interested in um, doing this mod, you have everything that you need that you could order. And feel free to drop any comments below if you have any questions or anything. Um, I also posted some photos in the Honda Fit Facebook group um, where you can find a lot of information there as well. Alright, so this is a good location to test the high beam. So as you can see, the ground level pretty low. Now with the high beam, you can see all the trees and everything. So if a deer pops up, hopefully we could see something like that easier as opposed to just having the low beams on. The low beams are pretty good too. I did aim them down a little bit because I don't want to blind the drivers with the projector as well. Although the projector has a way less chance to blind people than a reflector housing, um, you still want to make sure your height is, is relatively safe for other drivers. Straight ice. Fit's doing great with the snow tires. But yeah, we'll end that video here. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, let me know what you think of the mod. And uh, drop a comment, subscribe, like the video. I, I would appreciate that if you do. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thank you. Peace.